Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 152. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All right, so we're here for... for the, 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 let's try that again. We're here for Fujimi Kaido uh, Class C Series. Um, we're going to be taking the Honda S2000 for this one. Uh, we're starting off with stage C, then stage A, D, and then B. Let's get going. I'd be very much more surprised if uh, Motorsport 8 or Forza Motorsport Reboot, whatever you want to call it. I'd be very much surprised if that game releases on its release date. Very surprised. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Speed is key. Speed is key. Hey. 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 Burn it to the ground at night. Oh, that was close. Nice. I had to transfer all my videos from my PC to my hard drive just to make sure that they're all saved. Like archived on somewhere other than my PC. Because I, I have a plan to uh, put them somewhere else as well as YouTube. Um, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Oh, that's quick. See, the fact that this car is so lightweight is the sole reason why I could slow down like that. Whoa, fucking bastard. Come on. There we go. Very nice. I just think it's very cheeky. The the whole game and industry as a whole is being very cheeky, but a lot a lot of people are Taking up some of these companies on their bullshit. Um, at the end of the day, uh, when it comes to like if a game is good or not, I literally judge the game on the game itself. I, I really could not give two shits who made the game. Even with, like, the Mick Gordon situation with Bethesda, I will still buy Bethesda games if I like the games. I'm not someone that will boycott a company because they, I don't know, an employee wasn't very great or something like that. I'm not someone that, that'll do that because it's pointless. Woo! Fucking hell, that was close. Oh, shit. Do you know the one thing I find very funny, right, is I believe a lot of the tracks that were in Motorsport 2, uh, and even some of the tracks in Motorsport 3, I don't think they got very much upscaling treatment 
from Motorsport 1. There's a, there's a couple of, like, bits of detail that you notice that seems pretty much identical. I think Motorsport 3 got some of the tracks, like, upgraded. But definitely in Motorsport 2, after playing Motorsport 1 and 2, there was definitely some things in Motorsport 2 that made you look at it and go, hmm. That... That looks the same as the last game, just at a higher resolution. And, like, it's, it, it's not in the way, like, the poly count and everything was completely, like, almost ripped from the game. Which makes me believe less that Motorsport 2 was a copy and paste, but more that Motorsport 1 had a lot more detail in the game that just couldn't be displayed because it was older hardware. Which, I mean, if that's the case, then fair play to Turn 10 for making Motorsport 1 such a decent quality game, whilst even if it couldn't display it. Would you ever... This is really enjoyable to drive, actually. Whoa! I'm very much tempted to um, go back and watch Game Riot play through uh, Motorsport 5 and 6. Because back when I sort of started watching YouTube, Game Riot was the one that I watched all the time. I still watch some of his stuff here and there, but I don't really focus on watching new games that much being played. It's just not, not something I do a lot anymore. Yeah. I think I'm going to go and watch watch him play through Motorsport 5 again cuz I watched the whole thing. So get some nostalgia. I just really hope the next Forza game does release on Steam. Because if it doesn't release on Steam, that's going to be a bit of a wasted opportunity. Have they even got, um, like, game pages on the store for Motorsport next gen yet? Because if they haven't, then that's another reason why I think it's going to get delayed. Because they have, if they haven't even got game pages yet for a game that's supposed to be coming out in a couple of months... You know. Though, to be fair, Generations did do that, and but they were fucking stupid. The developers just messed that launch up completely. Yeah, it just seems a bit... It seems a bit backwards. You know. That they just don't have a product page yet. I think that... The problem with having motorsport the next generation motorsport being so late compared to the version before people are going to be expecting a lot out of this game and rightly so i mean if they can make games like motorsport 3 and motorsport 4 in two years they should be able to make a game well so much better than that in six years like that's obvious hands down Statistically, you should be able to produce better, more high-quality stuff if you put more time into it. Or create more quantity of stuff. I, I doubt the next generation of motorsport is going to have a metric fuck-ton of events like this. I mean, if it does, props to them. But they have to 
put more tracks in. Like, Virginia Raceway, all right, it's a cool track, don't get me wrong, but it was so overused in Motorsport 7, and it's not a great track. Like, all of the good tracks barely got used in Motorsport 7. I think it was, like, Motorsport 5, they shouldn't have purged as many tracks as they did. Hands down. They purged way too many tracks. What the hell are you doing? Close. Very nice. Saving Ghost. Please don't turn off your console. Nice. Uh, and we now have... I think we've got one more heat to do. I don't know. That was the first one. I thought we went up a hairpin section. What? Is there two hairpin sections in this stint then? I don't know. I'm losing track. Whoa. Baby, turn me on, turn me on. All right. I really need to get that life is, um, uh, what is it? High on life game. That one, uh, that is made by the Rick and Morty creators. And that'd be the coolest fucking thing ever. I don't, I, the thing is, the game is on Game Pass, day one, apparently. I don't want to play it on Xbox. I want to play it on Steam, and on the Steam Deck, but I also don't want to spend 45 quid, because apparently the game isn't that long. Which, I mean, in the case of Game Pass, and, you know, having a game that isn't that long... It's a pretty cool, pretty cool way of doing it. Like, you know, Game Pass having shorter games is always better. But like, 
I don't know. I don't know, lad. Back to love. Jesus. Dog. Wow, you're snoring. <laughs> the dog is snoring. Unbelievable. Sat in my bed, snoring away. Unbelievable. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Do 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 We're starting back down here, but we're going the opposite direction this time. I like the fact that they do shuffle it and like do them in random orders for these two. The only thing is the Nurburgring because it doesn't run in the opposite direction, it is one way, pretty much. Which sucks. I think it'd be cool to drive the Nurburgring backwards, but I don't think anyone ever drives it backwards, to be fair. Come on, we got this. Nice. No one knows. Do, 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 do. Nice, good start. Good first run. Car in second. The NSX is quite some distance behind us, so. Mm, very nice. Vitamin C fortified. 
Not that I really give two shits about what vitamins go in my body. I don't care, lad. I don't care. Coming up to 140 hours. I think by the time we finish this stream, we'll be at 140 hours of Forza gameplay. Which is unreal. I created on the bubbles at night. I still haven't worked out if these are going to be, like, shorter videos. Um, I think these championships are all going to be uploaded as separate videos ever anyways, but I might upload them as separate, but do two uploads a day for these. I'm not sure yet, because these ones, we're getting through them very quickly. Creepy world, there's a girl, there's a girl that's down by the river. It's time to consider that that baby is a sinner. I love Biffy Clyde, right? Fucking brilliant. Alright, looking good. Very good, very nice, very good, very nice. Result. Bubbles! This is a good song. I'll be honest, I really like this song. I think I need to reinstall OBS, get a new version of OBS and resort it all out, but I'll be doing that over Christmas. I've also got to sort out AGC as well. The automotive gaming community. Dun, 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 dun.
there we go. Good result there. Very nice. I will take that. All right, here we go. Our next uh, batch of heat. I, I don't know why. But I it really enjoy big cans of things. Like, to be fair, this can, I believe, is equivalent to, like, two cans of Coke. But, like, why don't we have, like, bigger cans? It just seems weird. Hey, Cardo, welcome back. Bitch. <laughs> like, that's one thing that I like about the US, is they give you, like, satisfactory portions. You found someone who's got the Rally DLC. Oh, did they reply on your Reddit post? Ah, fair enough. Well, uh, see if you get a response. See if you can find some other people, because if, if you can find someone that has the Rally DLC, um, and that can give a hand, that'd be amazing. One, two, scream. One last death medley. I love the way that this car drives, actually. It's really nice. Love that golden rule, that golden rule. All right, not bad. Good start. Race number two. Yeah, because I... I mean, I'd be more than happy to pay whoever I borrow the Rally DLC from. Like, I'd be willing to pay him 20 quid easily. Just so that I could get it done for this thing this entire project it would be awesome to be able to do it um i'm just hoping that game show works for it on xbox it should do because our xbox works but i'm not I, i'm like 99 percent sure it'll work but there's that one percent that's telling me like oh but is an xbox 360 game it might not work so <laughs> Hopefully it will be all fine though. Oi! Get out of the way you prick.
Diddly do. Diddly do. Diddly do. <laughs> I'm very excited for the next WRC game, but I can tell you right now, if they don't announce that it's going to have VR... The, uh, I, I read a um, thingy that said it could be rumoured that it, it could come out in the second quarter of uh, 2023. So it could come out from like March to June time. Anywhere around there. Which, if it does come out then, awesome. That is honestly awesome. I just hope that um, when Codemasters do develop it, that they develop it to support the Steam Deck as well. Because they've done a good job um, with, like, Dirt 4 actually runs pretty well on that. So, Codemasters know how to make games run on lower-end systems. So, I'm, I'm really hoping that the next WRC game, because obviously, KT Racing were never good at making them run on lower systems. That's why all the old generation Xboxes all ran 30 frames a second. And they only started once this current gen came out. They started doing 60 FPS. So maybe... I, I doubt WRC 23 is going to release on last gen consoles, to be honest. Because, like, EA are releasing all their games on next gen only now. Like, Need for Speed Unbound didn't have a last gen version of it. And even then, the game still did really well, yeah. That's another point to go on my previous discussion. Literally only was released on two of the four console platforms, really, when you think about it. And it sold really well. It's impressive. I do wonder what's going to happen with Slightly Mad Studios now that it's basically Project Cars has been cancelled. I wonder if they're going to work on Grid and make Grid their, like, a simulation game almost. I don't know how well that would go down. They could just have them work on it and make, like, a better Grid game similar to how Project Cars 3 was. That'd be a good idea. But uh, if they do go down the simulation route, it will, will have been a strange thing to see them pretty much cancel Project Cars to then make a sim game. I don't know. The mainstream Dirt series has obviously been cancelled as well, which sucks. Hasn't been officially cancelled, but I, I can see it being cancelled. Oh shit, that's not good. I got engine damage. Oh no.
Alright, not bad. Done that one. Let's uh, move on. What have we got next? It's track days, isn't it? So we go around all three uh, track circuits next. Woohoo! Love Ledger Blair. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.